Excuse me. Can I start a pile somewhere? Yeah. Um, I think he's done with his basket, so you can use that right there. Alrighty. Thank you. Four dollars. Five dollars and fifty cents. I'll tell you what, if you want that, we'll make it ten for everything.
down. I can't remember what I set down. Oh yeah, don't you hate that? Yeah, but I'm sure I have enough anyway. You never have enough. <laughs> You're terrible, Louis. <influence. laughs> but that's true. I think I'm all done. Are you finished? Yeah. I got a Cincinnati picture, a suitcase, a two bookend, a bookend pair, and then I got four books. Oops, what does it say? That's a Goodwill sticker or Salvation Army or something. Yeah, that that is, yeah. How about 10 bucks for all of it? 10 bucks sounds like a deal to me. All Thank right. you. Ooh. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You have a good day. You too. Good luck with the sale. We're going to do our best. All right, guys. I'm back at the warehouse. That was an estate sale I went to, and it was a pretty good one. I didn't get there till like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I saw in their ad that they were opening at 9 and passing out numbers at 8. And a friend of mine that goes to a number of their sales says that people get there like an hour before they pass out numbers to get numbers for it. So I wasn't crazy about doing the whole waiting game because I don't have to have inventory right now. I'm really just scratching the itch of shopping is kind of why I like going to these sales. So I decided to go later in the day and I'm glad I did because parking there wasn't that great and just walking around the house was very, very difficult. That sale was overwhelming. There was stuff just piled up everywhere. You could tell the person was obviously a hoarder, but there was a lot of good stuff there. I didn't find a ton of stuff, but what I did find, I'm pretty happy, and the lady gave me a killer deal. So I got a total of, let's see, four, five, six, seven pieces. Some stuff was priced, some of it wasn't. For example, like this suitcase was priced at five, and these bookends, I think were priced at like six or seven or four, four dollars. So just those two things alone, they were asking $9 and she threw me an offer of $10 for everything. So I was like, yep, absolutely. I'm not even going to question you. First thing I got is this uh, downtown Cincinnati framed picture. It's got matting and everything. And it has the old Riverfront Stadium that's not there anymore. It needs to be cleaned up, obviously, but that'll go in my antique booth and should sell for close to 20 bucks. This is going to my antique booth as well. This is a vintage suitcase. These usually aren't worth a ton, but if it has a, a cool color to it, like a pink, a red, a green, or blue, or whatever, uh, yellow, I try to pick them up. If it's just, you know, boring black or brown or beige or whatever, I don't mess with them. And I can't seem to get this clasp open. I had it open at the sale. I was going to open it up and show you guys. There we go. Looked sort of clean inside. I'll probably need to clean it out a little bit, but I'll put that in the booth as well. These bookends caught my eye. I've done pretty well selling bookends in my antique booth. And then I got a handful of books. First one is A Brave Woman by Marlott. And the age of it is what caught my eye. It's from the late 1890s. This one right here takes on nature. Also a pretty old one. This is a uh, Sparky Anderson biography. He managed the Reds in the 70s. And I was hoping it was signed. I looked at, you know, I opened some pages when I was there, seeing if there was a signature. Because a lot of times with sports books, um, you'll there'll be a signature in there, but wasn't the case with that. And then I got a yearbook from 1932. It's actually in pretty good condition considering the age. This is from East Knight High School. I don't even know if that's still around anymore. I love finding old yearbooks. They're like going back in time. Just really cool pictures and I always like to do a little bit of research on the school to see if there's any famous alumni. Um, I've found yearbooks that had Sandy Koufax, um, just a variety of people and they've done pretty well. I'm thrilled to get all that stuff for $10 because I should be able to sell it off for at least $100 I'm thinking. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.